Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Recently I was doing a summer program where they wanted to use natural stuff like feathers and shells and that sort of stuff to make really fun arts and craft projects. And so we came up with this idea of making painted feathers. And they're really super easy and they actually ended up being so much fun that I thought I'll share them with my video audience. So I'm going to teach you how to make a painted feather right now. For this project You'll need white feathers, eight to six inches long or longer, small paint brushes, acrylic paint, glitter glue, optional, small container for paint, water, paper plate or work surface, and paper towels. I'm gonna to be using this blue piece of paper here as my work surface because it's a little hard to see these beautiful white feathers on a white paper plate. First thing I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this acrylic paint and you don't need very much of it. And I've got a nice turquoise, a nice green, and this pretty magenta that I'm gonna be using. Now the one thing about these feathers and painting them is you should be able to find these. These are full feathers. What you want is a quill, basically. What you don't want are those little fluffy feathers. You want a feather that has a whole feather shape to it. I'm going to be using small brushes. And the main thing, the most important thing, is always go in the direction of the feather. Don't go against the grain of the feather, go with the feather. And so you just start painting in the direction of the feather turn it this way so you can see better. So I'm going with the grain of the feather. These are super fun to design. I mean, because you can, you can look at like Indian designs or um, Native American designs. You can look at um, all different kinds of things, the mandalas, all kinds of fun shapes that you can use. When you want to change color, I like to have different brushes for different colors, but when you want to change color, you just do so. And what's, what's great here is that the natural way that the feathers, because they're made up of all these tiny, tiny, tiny little strands, they give you a line to just follow. But again, it's really important to, to try to go with the grain of the feather, don't go against it. And as you can see, this is, I mean, this is really all you're doing is you're just using the feather as your canvas. Now, I like to do things like come back and I got my, weather, my water here. I always wash my brush and then use a paper towel to dry it off just to make sure there's no residual paint. I like doing things like coming back and putting little dots in. And you can do this if you want to want to make sure you get all that water out of your brush. You can do this if you want to when, when the feather is completely dry. And then the other thing I like to do is add glitter glue. And here's the thing that's fun about the glitter glue. You can, you can squeeze it out of the tube directly onto the feather. Or you can put it in your paint holder and then use a paintbrush to brush it onto the feather. I was thinking if you just did all of your feathers in glitter like this, you could use them for a fabulous like angel costume or something. Let me show you what happens when these dry because they look really pretty when they dry. So you can just see that pretty glitter. So these are just a few techniques, but you should feel free to just go to town. But look at that. Isn't that pretty with, with the gold glitter? Wouldn't that make beautiful angel wings? And then here's one that I did that has the little dots that I was showing you. And then here's one where I've used the glitter glue as my accent. And again, I waited until this was dry and came back and did that. And then this one, 
I used it as an emphasis in between my different paint swatches. Isn't that easy and fun? I mean, you could see yourself making a whole bunch of them, right? And here is just to give you an example, some of the ones that my sister Frida and I created. They're really, really fun, and you can get as creative as you want to. And then you can either use them for bookmarks or use them in hats or headbands, all kinds of different things. For more fun ideas made out of natural things, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you're already not a subscriber, make sure you click my face at the end of the video and you too can get each new video on Wednesdays and Fridays when they first come out hot off the presses. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up, sophie-world.com.